Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to Restoration from Within. This is a special Temple Talk today. I'm super excited to be here and have my very, 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 very special guest. Yes, and it's one of my princess warriors that's going to, I'm sorry, warrior, right? Yeah. Yes. My warrior that's joining me here today. Hey, Sanquinetta. Hey, Viva. How are y'all? Ah, I'm excited that y'all here with us. Hey, Apostle Base. Thank you for joining us. So today we came here real quick to do a Restoration Weekend's Ruach Retreat recap. It was super exciting. But before I do that, let me introduce myself. Thank, thank you for those who are catching the live broadcast and all those who are catching the recap. By all means, or oh, the replay, not recap, the replay <laughs> of the recap. Thank you for joining us. You could have been anywhere else, but you've chosen to be here with us today. If this is your first time, please let me know by um, putting... Uh, pound first time yeah. and if you're catching the replay please let me know by putting hashtag replay as well so those of you who do not know me my name is cat ponds welcome this is this is your first time like i said before and i am the restoration coach i know i'm repeating myself <laughs> I, I might be a little bit nervous <laughs> see you know by yourself so um i am the restoration coach here at restoration from within and i'm also the owner i help kingdom-minded women to go back to an overall healthy place, an overall healthy lifestyle. And I do that by accountability, by uh, biblical principles, and I also offer health-conscious products and services. And the Lord led me this, this past weekend to host a retreat, Ruach retreat. And Ruach, Ruach stands for God's breath. And he really, really showed out this past weekend. Hey, Quintina, how you doing? Hey, Nia, how y'all doing? So I, a lot of the chicas that were with me this past weekend are live, and I have one. Hey, Elaine, how are you? And also, I have my daughter. So um, the Rock Retreat was uh, really uh, created. God gave me the vision about a year ago to do it and to um, have his daughters come closer. And before I begin, I would like to um, share the prophecy that he gave me. And he gave it to me, um, I think it was last year, 2018. Maybe. I think so. So let's look it up. So as I'm looking it up, if you would like to uh, tag someone, invite someone so they can see the testimony, so they can hear these experiences that we're about to share, by all means, please do so. So um, the prophecy that I received was by um, Prophet uh, Cynthia Bays. I'm, I'm sorry, I digress. <laughs> I'm looking at because Apostle Bays was up there. Um, a prophet, Cynthia Monroe Rose. She gave me this prophecy last year. And so I was super, super excited. And, um, and, and it pretty much was the blueprint that God gave me to create the process. So he told me that he was going to call and gather all the daughters. And I just wanted to share this because I could finally share it because his daughters needed to hear it first. And they got to hear that that first Friday night. So I, I want to set the stage with this. So um, she gave it to me on October 15th, 2018. So he, uh, she said, number nine, that's this month of September, means birthing. Indeed, God is troubling the waters, and that water bag will indeed break that weekend. He was talking about this past week. And birth a move of God that will overflow from the, from the conference unto all the earth in Jesus' name. I hear the Lord saying, I'm calling and assembling my midwives, my midwifing warriors to birth my move, not their own agendas, but my vision, my purpose into the earth realm. And that's exactly what he did. Um, he literally took the time to even down to the um, swag bags. He literally took the time and had me. Uh, choose certain things, go and do some research and had me pray over them. I'm, my husband and I, we prayed over the journals and our, our desire was, you know, we spoke the, the desires of the Lord where even the, the, the journals that each and every lady received, they had a specific word and that that journal meant something and confirmed something to them. Um, they also received uh, my, uh, my, my late pastor, Tanya Aiken Taylor's uh, CDs. What else was in there? Uh, you packed the bags. This lovely young lady and my two other children packed the bags. What, what, what else? Uh, 
we had um granola bars we had granola bars very healthy granola bars thank you Sila dance studio for um sponsoring uh the swag bags a portion of the swag bags antoinette suka for um sponsoring the swag bags as well um they also received um what else water bottles water bottles yes to make sure that they were hydrated right <laughs> And they also received, uh, they also received from Black Elder, um, they also received their own kit to make Black Elderberry. I mean, I'm serious. It was just a blessing in itself. And, oh, they also received a soap and, uh, scrub. and a scrub. Yeah, the loofah scrub, yeah. right? So this is just a, a little bit of the things that they received. Those swag bags were on fire. Hey, babe, look at daddy's on. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, Crystal, how you doing? A bag full of goodies. That's what um, I just, you know, hey, Jason, how are you? Um, Viva said it was a bag full of goodies because I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. God knew my heart. I, I really dislike going to an event and you pay um, and you invest your money. You know, you really invest your money because you expect some things, not just the expectation of receiving or whatever you go there to receive, but you want the swag bags to look like it. And so those swag bags were heavy. And I'm, I really, I, I'm sorry, she <laughs> understands that they were heavy, right? So those swag bags were truly heavy. So I just wanted to um, make sure that I was blessing them. But back to, um, and that's just a little portion of that. I mean, even the activities that we did, um, and back to the the prophecy that God gave. He says um, that his warring mid my mid my wifing warriors are going to move. We're going to birth his move, not their own agendas, but my vision, my purpose into the earth realm, and their roar will be vibrated through the earth. What it says right there? Through the earth. For they may not be many in numbers, but neither was Gideon's army, says the Lord. But they are obedient, they are pure, and they have a deeper seek in their hearts. And those who seek after my righteousness, I will fill full, full, full to the overflow, says the Lord. And that's exactly what he did. I'm, I'm telling you, he did that for each and every one of the chicas that were there, including myself. And even for the um, restoration team, we did have some uh, male uh, assistants and volunteers who came to help us. So shout out to them and blessings to them. They said that they were even blessed themselves. Like God literally each and every one of the ladies, he really spoke to them down to my daughter. And I want her to share first her testimony, and then I'll share some others that we received and what actually happened throughout every day. So, Titi, why don't you share your testimony? Okay, so when we first went to the mountain, I was really scared. Oh, let's, the first time that we did the, the um, site visit, right? Yeah. So that wasn't this time, but it was the first time. All right, go ahead. Like, I was really scared that I was trying to hide in the car so I wouldn't have to get out. And it, it was really high, so I was Yeah, scared the mountain of that. was at the peak of the mountain, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when we came for the retreat a few months later, I, would, I got out of the car. I was kind of scared. This past weekend. Yeah, this past mm -hmm. weekend and see how it happens when you get nervous on the yeah. shit. Okay, <laughs> I was I was really afraid, so I was holding on to the car because it kind of scared me. That, like I was gonna fall off the mountain, and it scared me, scared me. Like I didn't even want to let go. But then my auntie Nikki. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> she told me to walk with her so I did and I saw the bottom of the mountain and I wasn't like scared scared anymore because I had never looked other times that I was there so when I looked I wasn't scared anymore then we walked through the mountain, and I wasn't to scared. the very top. To the very top. To the very top. <laughs> and we like me, Dad, and Noah. We went through. We went like really far. We jumped off a of, um like like um fallen trees. We Big jumped off fallen of trees. <laughs> we jumped off of those, <laughs> and then like we were gonna go further, but then we saw like a huge tree that had fallen that we couldn't um climb over so 
we went back and I took a lot of walks through the mountain. They came back and forth throughout the mountain from the place that we was driving to all the way over there. And I remember because I was at the top, top of the mountain and um, and to see her as I was, you know, uh, seeking God that day and to see her come through. I was like, come through, Jesus. And she was smiling with a you know smirk on her face. And I was at the very end where there was big log trees um, that were falling. But her, her dad and her little brother. <laughs> Climbed the mount, climbed those log trees, and went <laughs> further than I did. I thought I reached the pinnacle, but they went further. So I just, you know, and that's, and I just wanted to share that. I, I wanted to, in front of everybody, say I am so proud of you. I am excited that you did not operate in the spirit of fear, that you operated in the strength of a warrior that you have. I'm telling you, you already seen the top. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, go ahead and go eat some pizza with your sister and brother. I love you, baby girl. Can I get a brownie? After we eat. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead and enjoy yourself. All right, so so that's what happened. I just wanted to share that with you, that everybody, from my kids to um, to the ladies, to the gentlemen that were there, I mean, people were like, thank you so much. And they were there at the right time and at the right place, to the point that we even had a special guest. But that's a testimony in itself. So um, let's start off with the with the day. So on um, so oh, Viva, I'll tell her um, I'll tell her that you are proud of her, Viva. So I I mean on Friday, uh, God orchestrated it to be a very intimate night because He said He wanted to uh, spend time with Him. Remember, He said that He wanted to not my vision, not nobody else's vision, not any cookie cutter stuff. He wanted to operate in himself. So I was like, okay. And he really wanted some personal time with each and every one of his daughters. So we did a couple of um, of, of kingdom um, kingdom encounters. That's what I, we call them. I know the world calls them icebreakers, but we call them kingdom encounters. And what we did, we did some activities. And there was one activity where I really was blown away by God because I was just like, man, this sounds silly. But he still did it. And it was um, it was about balloons, and in the balloons, um, the activity was for us to um, put the balloon, blow the balloon, and there was a message inside of it. And then you had to uh, tie the balloon to, to with a string in, in your ankle. And so your objective was to um, try to pop somebody else's balloon and protect yours, right? I can't, I don't know, I can't remember who won, but Chica's, please tell me who won. So anyway, so the ultimate goal was, is that, okay, once the balloon popped, you picked up the promise. And God was reminding us um, the little note that it has, and there were promises. So every, and the prom, and the idea of it was, is that no matter if circumstances, people, or even things try to pop your bubble or bust your bubble that, you know, your God's promises are still true. And so we all were in a circle and um, each one had to read their promises. And that was amazing because every everyone that got the promise that they had, and I'm telling you, I didn't choose the balloons. They were all, you know, God orchestrated it, that that was the rema word that they all needed to hear at that time. And it was amazing 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 and then after that after we had some kingdom encounters he said he told me he told me cat i want to spend time with my daughters so um he had me specifically um do prayer stations and so the remainder of the evening they had to go through those prayer stations and and you know and release some things because that was the release party and so as they were going through there was a prayer station there was one about as it, it was called hope prevails um let me see what else. Uh, hope prevails. Um, and that was talking about, you know, it was a it was in a, it was one where he um, had me create a rope with knots and the ropes were sim uh, symbolic uh, s symbolism of, of uh, worry and anxiety. And you had to pray over um, that knot and then symbolically, you know, release that knot. There was one about identity. There was one about um, laying down your burdens. I mean, it was just, it was eight stations and, and everybody had to go through one. And then the major one for me was forgiveness. Forgiveness of yourself, forgiveness of others, and forgiveness of circumstances. And then um, that one you had to write, um, you know, those people who you forgive, you forgive yourself or any circumstances that you've encountered and then, um, keep the leaf with you on the leaf 
and we were going to um release them that saturday at the um at the waterfall and that was a, a powerful experience in itself and so that um that's what we did um we went to the waterfall and i've you've probably seen some pictures and we'll see more pictures um shout out to 180 productions for capturing the vision and for also capturing um this kingdom encounter that we had this past weekend and so um we released them uh, that Saturday morning that we went to the prayer mountain and the ladies had some time to share there. And then we had some powerful, powerful speakers. Man, they brought that fire. Minister Elizabeth Seawright was amazing, amazing. Um, Viva said the prayer of forgiveness was um, was her favorite one. And rest. Oh, there was one on rest also. You just had to sit there and listen. Hey, Latanya, how you doing? Oh, Des is the winner. Des was the winner of, of the balloons, of popping the balloons. Um, she says, um, oh, okay. Viva said they was about to uh, write that. So, I mean, it was, I'm telling you, it was so, so amazing. Cause God really, um, I think Brittany, um, said it best when she, um, got up to do the welcome and also to speak that, um, that in that process, it was just, it, it was really, it was really that he, when he said he wanted some intimate time with his daughters, that's what he did. Like he really had some one-on-one -on -one time and, and showing them that it's, it's not about going somewhere to um, get a word, but knowing how to seek God for yourself and get a word. He was really intimate. I'm talking about um, prophetic words. Hey, Rebecca, how you doing? And all the speakers were awesome. And Viva says, uh, my God, that waterfall, that, listen, that waterfall was amazing, was amazing. I, I know some of the sisters said that when we released the waterfalls, there was some, uh, like there was some bubbles and rumbling towards the center of the bottom of where the waterfall, where the water was falling. And, um, some put their, uh, put their feet in, some have put, I put my hands in, um, that waterfall is, um, is known for, uh, in history that angel visitations were there so i was i was just blown away i was blown blown away uh prophet like as soon as minister cynthia was uh speaking her word here comes you know right she rode that way right with a prophet cynthia came right in and and spoke a word as well i mean people they got what they came for they got what they came for they came with high expectations from the lord and and they received it every every bit of it i mean the the mountain in itself is speak, supposed to be considered a heavenly portal and that was in itself amazing just to see how how thick the atmosphere was and i'm not just saying that because i you know i was there or i'm hosting i'm telling you uh, you can ask anybody that was there it was amazing even my husband, he's a man of few words, you know, but when he speaks, you know, people listen and he was just in awe of the, of the place. He was like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And he had some, he had, uh, some encounters as well where I was like, wow. And it was, it was just amazing. Um, Des said, I collected some rocks from the waterfall. Hey girl, come on now. Hey Elizabeth, how you doing? Um, uh, see Nia said, yes, the waters were being stirred. Come on. Oh man. Um, Viva said we had an encounter. It was amazing, y'all. It was amazing. And then after that, we had the temple, uh, the healthy hair and body party. It was lit. We had some so much fun. I'm gonna tell you one thing though. I had a, a bunch of competitive chicas in there, but it was all in great fun. But it, they had me cracking up. I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. And that was that was the part. that's like we shed some um, some tears of cleansing, tears of laughter. We laughed. We cried. We had a good time i mean people from calif all the way from the east coast california came uh people from charlotte uh georgia I, I mean it was just so many people some people didn't even know each other but the sisterhood that was there it was like we knew each other for years and even on sunday you know some people chose to go to the waterfall and some people chose to go to the mountain the ladies that went to the a waterfall had an encounter where they was just worshiping God and sitting and resting and waiting to hear a word from him. And they, and he sent an angel and I'm telling you, he sent an angel to bring a word for each and every one of the ladies that were there. So when I arrived there, all I see is hands being laid. People are praying. And, and this young lady came and, and guess what? She ended up coming with us for the last day of the retreat. And she enjoyed herself as well. She was so, I mean, you know, she was so in awe 
of God. And she was there visiting. She didn't even live there. She was two hours away. So I was just like, my God, this is really, really amazing. I'm trying to read the, um, see, I'm trying to read the comment. Um, Elizabeth said, I missed it. So happy you guys had a blessed time. Listen, Elizabeth is next year is going to be even greater. So I'm, I'm working on the, uh, the details with it. I'm going to get with Latasha as well. Uh, but mark your calendars it most likely is going to be in september 2020 again so i'm super excited that you know god met us there and this time he told me this is this is what he said it's still going to be restoration weekends ruach retreat but this time he said oh wait i wrote it y'all ready this is really hot off the press all right god where is it all right lord help me where are you at? I know I wrote it. Oh, there it is. Um, ascending higher to abide in him. Ru Restoration weekends, Ruach retreat, ascending higher to abide in him. So I don't even know. Hey, Miss Annie, how you doing? I don't even know what he's going to do, but that's what he said. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is really, um, this is really crazy. And it, um, but I'm told I'm, I'm just in awe. I'm just in awe. So that's, that's for next year, ascending higher to abide in him, ascending higher to abide in him. So, and then, um, I, yours truly, oh wait, no, uh, Brittany came and spoke. She gave a recap and she was singing. She sang her heart out. Um, we also had, um, San Quinetta Milton, uh, shout out to massage, miracle, miraculous massage as well. Um, she massaged and she also, you know, gave a word. I mean, she set us free and, um, I, uh, prophetess um prophet cynthia shared a word from one of our sisters lisa and lisa wasn't able to um attend with us but god you know even though you know it may have looked to the human eye that um she wasn't able to reach us but she was on assignment that that time herself and um and god has revealed some things to her as well i'll just give her the opportunity to share that but i was just in awe of how god did everything hey cynthia how y'all doing um, so I was just like, man, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to read some of the testimonies. Um, if some of you chicas want to come up and want to talk, yeah, listen, San Quinetta, I'm telling you, I mean, she, okay, this is how serious it was. San Quinetta was massaging people and giving a word at the same time. I was like, Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm everybody, everybody that was there got a personal word everybody and i don't mean just one time it was confirmation a personal word confirmation everybody's voice recorder should be full or um, up to the overflow i'm gonna be honest with you because we received the word hey orlando how you doing um she received we received the word collectively and individually throughout the every every day every day every day and it was just confirmation and i think it's because we were in high expectation and because he brought some powerful women of god and you know i truly believe in that um that scripture where it says iron sharpens iron and that's what was happening so there was i mean there was nothing but something miraculous was supposed to happen you know nothing but you know the prophetic realm was going to be open like a waterfall because god was allowing us you know we was in his glory so we god was allowing us to see through his eyes we was he was allowing us to hear through his um ears through his mouth we was about to mouthpieces hashtag mouthpieces thank you holy spirit you know um uh feel what he feels sense what he senses and and i was just oh my gosh don't miss next year that's all i gotta say don't miss next year because the call was out he sounded the alarm because he said it he says i'm calling and assembling and now he's called us and those who said yes they received a powerful word they received many powerful words that i mean till today i've received uh uh um text saying man i'm still drunk in the spirit as far as everything i'm still trying to process everything because we had to literally wrap our spirits around everything 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 and gather it because he said he was calling us and he was assembling us so now we have been we've gathered all the information that he wants us now he's assembling us to prepare us for 2020 and one of the things that um let me see oh san quinita says yes we are, all have been um sharpened and stronger viva said hashtag we have been mandated exactly so now that we'll be assembling ourselves um, if you would like to join us, um, but I'm going to give the details to that in a second. 
listen oh miss annie said i feel it and i was not there thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit because that was my desire that you can actually feel it because i'm literally on fire right now i promise you and it's not this light i'm really on fire and i want you to ex express the urgency that god wants to commune with you he wants to have that intimate time with you and sometimes you have to come away you have to go away from the distractions so that he can love on you the way he wants to he just wants some you and him time and that's what he did because the holy spirit literally took over the schedule i had one schedule and he had another and when you know i when he did what he did and i didn't quench him i mean people were set free there was healing there was deliverance there was removal of scales there was tears there was release oh my gosh that's just that's just what i witnessed i don't know what else anybody else witness but um oh saint quinita says cat ponds now i know why i had to come alone and not bring another uh, come on through come on through because you had to birth that thing oh man and talk about birthing you know that was the time there and there um god gave a word to all of us about you know birthing however that was i want to share this bit that was the second time that some of us including me was the second time that we birthed something this year Come on, Holy Spirit. Who births in the same year at the, uh, at the same time, spiritually speaking? Come on now. That was, it was amazing. Don't miss out next year. The details are going to come out soon. I'm telling you. And Nadeja said, um, Nia said, all of being one, all of being on one accord and walking in unity paved the way. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> so, um, one of the guests said, OMG, we ascended to the mountaintop. This experience is still overwhelming. I can agree. To God be all the glory. A mighty move of the Trinity took place this weekend. Lord, bless the visionary cat punk. I love you. I, you know who I'm talking to. I love you, girl. At the, and the opportunity to connect with such awesome women of God was amazing. Thank you, Jesus. And it was just, I mean, it's just to see everybody to be themselves and relax even down to the point where god was like you know some of you might have thought it was just me but it was god god was like you know just wear athletic gear and and um and i was like okay this is really different and he he was telling me i'm doing a new thing can't you not see i'm doing a new thing and so when we got there one of the guests says you know what i dress up every day of the week i have to wear heels i have to dress up i have to you know look the part and it was just it was just I mean, a breath of fresh air to know that I didn't have to do none of that to come to this retreat. And that really set me. I was like, thank you, Lord. Thank you that down to the, you know, the, the request of just wearing activity wear for the retreat was something to set people free and for them to rest. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Let me see. Somebody said, my second time birthing, Sanquinetta said. Viva said, yes, come on. We've been birthing some babies. Come on. Hey, Miss Annie said, birthing Adelaide's. I'm in agreement. Viva Harris says, authenticity. Yes, I'm, I'm telling you. And then let me see some other ones that we had here. I'm going to read some more. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I'm going to read that. Oh, this was, um, this was a text. I'm just texting you to let you know that I'm still so full that I'm trying to see what to do next because God gave us some instructions. Like I'm literally looking at God in awe of his glory and I can't move because I'm so full and basking in what he has done. It's doing and will continue to do so full in all caps till I can't help but rest in all caps, a parenthesis trust in him that rest is another word for trust in him for what steps to take next love you more than i can put into words oh man i love you girl i love you let me see another one here um oh everything was awesome i wish i could have stayed the entire weekend but so glad i was able to experience what i did thanks again for the invite and so this, so that really inspired me for next year. I might be doing some, um, day, uh, day, uh, what is it called? Um, like day passes. So thank you, Holy Spirit. I might be doing day passes next year. If you want to join us, let me see. Um, oh, San Quinita said no makeup, relaxed clothes and a free atmosphere. Yes, 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 yes. And so let me see another one. Let me see. Oh, uh, words cannot express how grateful I am for God giving you the vision that would help birth another level in me. 
your yes created another level of freedom and confidence in me thank you thank you so much for entrusting me with as with as part of your birthing of your new baby and i cannot wait to see this restoration from within baby grow into full manifestation i love you to life i love you to life too sis so that's just i mean that's just just a little bit just a little bit i mean <sighs> That's just a little bit of what went on. And I just wanted to share that with you. Stay tuned because we are going to roll out some details. And even the location is already, um, it's already prophetic because the word that he says, abiding, ascending higher to abide in him is a whole other level. We're going higher. We are ascending higher and we're literally going to abide in that high. In, in that level of, of, of where he's taking us. So I don't know what he's going to do. I do not know what he's going to do. But Ruach Retreat 2020 is going to top this, what he's done this weekend. And that was another thing. How, you know, like you experience one thing and then you're like, man, this is it. I, I'm just done. I am done. And then he comes and tops it off. And then here comes Saturday. And then he comes and tops it off again. And then he tops it off again. And then he tops it off again. I'm just like, I'm like, poof, 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 poof. I'm like, and people were talking to me. And I'm looking at them. And they were like, are you, are you still drunk in the spirit? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> that was me. That was me. I'm only here because I'm being obedient to share this experience with you so that you can join us next year for Ruach Retreat 2020. We're literally going to be abiding on that mountain. I promise you. I promise. I declare and, de I declare and decree it. I really do. I'm super excited. Hey, Nakia. Nakia says, to God be the glory. Yes. Yes, day passes. So next year, if you want to um, join us for just a day, you, um, we're going to offer that availability as well. So you can join us. Oh, man, I'm super excited. Um, I also wanted to um, invite all the chicas um, that weren't able to attend, but that would desire to take this journey with us because he gave us um, instructions um, on the time um, of Rosh Hashanah. Those of you who are not familiar with Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Um, the new year is about to, the Hebraic new year is about to occur at the end of the month, beginning September 29th. And so God said, um, during that time frame, those 10 days between, uh, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, I need for you to fast. I need for you to come in and, and receive more downloads for what's to come. I already gave you the assignment and some of you already, you were you did not attend with us, but you already know what your assignment is, or you're trying to seek God for more clarity on what that is so that you can unpack that. You're more than welcome to join us for our thirst for you challenge. This thirst for you challenge is a little bit different. We will be doing smoothies from 6 a.m. to uh, 6 p.m. However, from 6.01 p.m. to 5.59 uh, a.m. Is that clarity enough for you? Fever. <laughs> I was like, look, he was very clap. See, he, he made that for me and you. So from 6.01 p.m. to 5.59 a.m., you can enjoy on um, feasting on anything that um, would encompass itself under the Daniel, on the, under the um, guidelines of the Daniel fast. So if you would like to join us, it, it will be an investment of $30 to, to join our private group and that you can take this journey with us. It'll be about, um, I can't think how many chicas were there with us, but those are our further instructions for during that time frame. We will be fasting from social media as well. However, we will be communing in our forum, in our private forum at our restorationfromwithin.com uh, website. So if you want to join us, um, I will be posting that here soon that you can um, invest. Uh, it's only, hey, Isaac, how are you doing? Hey, Nadine. So it's only a $30 investment for those chicas who would like to join us. I'm telling you, this is a small investment, a seed that you're sowing into a greatness because 2020 is for the kingdom of God is something that we have never seen However, we need to prepare and hear what the Lord is saying so that we can enter it prepared and already establishing those, um, those, uh, 
those downloads, you know, preparing for that. So for what's to come, because 2020 is the beginning of a new era. And I strongly believe that. And he is speaking to the kingdom. He is speaking to the kingdom. So sister, if you, I encur I highly encourage you to join us. This is a sisterhood. We really get um, deep and personal. We do not wear any masks. And however, whatever is shared in our community stays in our community. And we pray for you. We don't talk about what you talk, what you share with us, but we pray for you instant instantly so we're going through this journey together so feel free to join us it's going to be um and once you uh invest the 30 dollars to join us for the thirst for you challenge starting on september 29th through october the 8th um we will you will join the forum you'll have access and so you can start um and i'll give you further instructions to join us and also put it down in your calendar September 2020. That's my goal. Um, it might change. I don't know. I'm, I'm flowing with the Holy Spirit. This is really some hot off the press stuff, but we are going to go back to the mountain. We are going to ascend higher to abide in him. That's the word that he is saying. Hey, Barry, how you doing, fam? Uh, Sanquinita says, Viva Harris, honey. When I tell you about today, you're going, oh,